Good Wednesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska statewide weather. Low pressure working across southwest Alaska is pulling in warm and wet air into the lowlands of the Bering Sea coast and pushing that further and further north. As it does so, it will continue to drive temperatures into the 50s and 60s for many locations inland, with high pressure sitting out over the Gulf of Alaska, keeping that southerly flow warm. And many locations around south central have been pushing that 60 degree mark for the second day in a row. Across the east Eastern Beaufort Seacoast, a winter weather advisory remains in effect. That'll be the case through tonight and early tomorrow, it looks like, as visibility could be down. Blowing snow may be an issue as we go through the rest of tonight and tomorrow. In the meantime, it is keeping southeast fairly nice and mild, and it looks like that trend will slowly come to an end as we get into Thursday and Friday with the next wave of weather crossing the Gulf. As high pressure dips to the south, it allows a frontal boundary to work into the west coast of Alaska tonight with low pressure around the Yukon Delta, reaching down to about 1,006 millibars. Periods of rain and snow showers may be possible in the region, including places like Unalakleet and Nome all the way up toward Kotzebue. Snow is a little bit more likely the further north you go into the Kobuk and Noatak Valleys there. Conditions should be generally dry for the eastern Beaufort Sea coast and up toward Utkiavik, a better chance for snow just to blow around. Watch for the front to cross through Bristol Bay tonight and into tomorrow, and as it does so, it will spread rainfall into South Central. That could bring down visibility and ceilings for a time if you're flying in and out of Merrill Field and many of your Kenai uh, favorite hot spots there. Out across the west, uh, the Yukon Valley, as well as parts of the Bering Strait Coast, we'll likely see a rain-snow mix, and most of the interior will see more clouds and probably some rain by the end of the day. But colder air is sneaking in from the north and the east, and that is eventually going to change some of that precipitation in the interior over to snow. Because of that, the National Weather Service in Fairbanks has issued winter weather advisories for many interior locations, including Fairbanks, as we get into Thursday night and early Friday morning. At this point, it looks like many low-lying areas could see about one to two inches of slushy wet snow. But as soon as you climb up in elevation, there's a much better chance that you could see as much as three to seven inches of snow. And it will be kind of wet and heavy at times, but it looks like most of that will be limited to the higher terrain there, including places like the Dalton Highway and your favorite highway passes. Watch for those changes as we go through Friday. Most areas south and west of the Alaska Range are still looking at rainfall. With Alaska Statewide Weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder.